Ah yes, Dark Souls 2. A game with enough fantastic innovations that you could fill an entire Soulsborne countdown video. But it's also got the innovation of taking that stupid eight-way directional rolling and bringing it down to four directions. I mean, isn't that a lot easier? Simplification for the win. In addition to being the home for the most challenging and longest, most frustrating runbacks in the entire Soulsborne series, Dark Souls 2 also contains another really neat feature, and that is the fact that you do not have any iframes when you're opening a treasure chest or going through a fog wall. <laughs> yeah, that'll teach all those lazy noobs who don't feel like killing every single enemy on the way to a boss. What do you mean your time is valuable? F your time. And if you really want to show how much of a badass you are, you can play the Scholar of the First Sin Edition, which has even more enemy spam all throughout the levels. In fact, there's so many that if you play any type of magic caster, you're probably going to run out of castings before you even get to the boss. That's what you get for trying to experiment with a build that's not strength. As a wise man once said, tough but fair. It must also be noted that the design of the bosses in Dark Souls 2 remains unmatched to this day. You remember how awesome it was in Dark Souls 1 when you got to fight Ornstein and Smo at the end of Anne Orlando? Well in Dark Souls 2, get this, you get to fight just Ornstein and he doesn't have Smo with him. And there's no second phase. That's what I call an improvement. Of course I would be totally foolish not to mention the excellent boss fight where you merely fight a bunch of rats. That's just such a great idea. I wish I had thought of it myself. And of course there is the most legendary boss fight in all of the Soul series. The boss fight between you and the product, the love child, between a maggot and a piece of shit. What a great boss. It's just too bad that none of the bosses in Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring could match up to this quality. I would also like to mention that uh, the Fume Knight is a great boss and he does have a lot of fans. And you know, I think that is completely acceptable to play through an extremely long game for at least one decent boss fight. You know, I've actually heard some people say that the tutorial boss in Dark Souls 3 is better than each boss in Dark Souls 2 combined, but those people are silly. They just can't see the greatness of DS2. And to wrap up my thoughts on Dark Souls 2, I would just like to say that I really love the intro cinematic, especially the dialogue of the old grandma who, through her words, illustrates that the team working on DS2 fully understood the theories, the design choices that were important to players, and the basic philosophy of the Soul series in general. Repeatedly dying through unnecessarily frustrating conditions. Man. It's so beautiful, it, it brings a tear to my eye. Well, here's hoping that one day from Software gets their act together and finally gives us a true, deserving successor to this masterpiece. You lose your souls. All of them.